airport calls uh, to ensure that there isn't a cut and run uh, operation in Afghanistan, that uh, you know NATO countries uh, are there meeting their responsibilities for as long as is necessary. Um, I think it is deeply regrettable that the current situation we're seeing unfold right now has been allowed uh, to develop in the way that it has. But we have to go forward from where we are right now. And the world has a massive responsibility towards people in Afghanistan. And it's really important that that responsibility is lived up to. There's been some correspondence between myself and Boris Johnson, between my ministers and UK government ministers. Uh, and we don't yet have a number that Scotland will uh, welcome here. Uh, but I hope to get to that uh, as soon as practically possible. But if we take the example of the Syrian resettlement programme, ultimately Scotland uh, welcomed more refugees here than our strict population share uh, would have suggested. So Scotland stands ready and willing. There's lots of work to be done, lots of practical arrangements. But of course, as well as living up to our responsibility to give refuge to people fleeing horrific circumstances like those we're seeing in Afghanistan right now, as the Syrian example has shown us, we stand to gain a lot as well. Many of the Syrian refugees who came here are contributing massively to Scotland, you know, establishing businesses, you know, working to make a contribution. So this is not just a, a one-way traffic. There's lots of mutual benefit here. Well, the Prime Minister is obviously at G7 going to try and raise uh, the prospect of seeing if the United States will extend. Uh, it's in really important for people to understand the United States have over 6,000 people in Kabul airport and when they withdraw that will take away the framework that has allowed us to withdraw and we will have to go as well. Um, I don't think there is any likelihood on staying on after the United States uh, if their timetable extends even by a day or two then that will give us a day or two more to evacuate people because we are really down to hours uh, now not weeks and we have to uh, make sure we exploit every minute to get people out.